Boys and girls, welcome back to the wonderful world of physical education where Mr. Katasik is gonna demonstrate some things using a ping pong ball and ping pong paddle. We are in our ping pong unit. Now, if you don't happen to have a ping pong paddle and a ping pong ball, there are other things that we can use. If you happen to have a regular ball, a foam ball, a playground ball, a wiffle ball, all of those things will work. If you don't have a ping pong paddle, find a badminton racket possibly, a tennis racket will work perfectly okay. Right now, using a ping pong paddle and a ping pong ball, first thing I want you to do is place your hand like you're shaking hands with someone. That's how you're gonna hold the racket. From here, forehand, palm is either upwards or striking the ball forwards. If you're doing a backhand shot, the back of your hand is facing the wall or facing the ceiling or the sky. Right now, we're just gonna put the ball on the paddle and work on controlling it. Ball on the paddle and now I'm just gonna do a little walking. Walking backwards, walking to the side, walking around. See how well you can control that ball as it's on the paddle. Maybe try to do some knee bends, some squats, move around, again forwards, backwards, side to side, notice my eyes focusing on that ball, notice not too high, about waist level, belly button level. After you've done that for a few minutes, from here we're going to do what's called some ups, keeping the paddle by your belly, I'm going to just drop the ball on the paddle and gently strike it up in the air. Notice I'm keeping my feet still. You don't want to be running around or chasing the ball too much. Once again, ups, nice and easy. Good hand-eye coordination watching that ball. From here now, backhand, back of my fist facing the ceiling. Oops. Sometimes that happens, boys and girls, perfectly okay. Now, again, if you don't have a regular ping pong ball, I could try this with a little foam ball. I can do my ups, or my ups backhand. If that's a little too difficult, we can always try this. Up, let it bounce, up, let it bounce, up, let it bounce, up. All right, you can do the flip-flop now. From here, go back to my ping pong ball. I'm gonna go up and over, up and over, called the flip-flop. Oops, it's easy. Trying to keep it under control. Notice I'm not hitting it too hard, keeping it below my head. Again, I can let it bounce and hit it up, bounce and hit it on the other side. All right, from there, we're gonna do some tricks. All right, from here, you're gonna pop it up, spin around, and then try to catch it. So from here, up, spin around, up, spin around, up, spin around, but don't get too dizzy. <laughs> from here, next one, going off the wall. Ooh, whoops. From here, under, or excuse me, my forehand striking against the wall, nice and easy. Let it bounce. Backhand, from here now the back of my hand is facing the wall. Again, let the ball bounce. And strike against the wall, nice and easy. If you have a table, from here, let the ball bounce on the table, hit it against the wall, oops, easy. Sometimes it doesn't work, boys and girls, perfectly okay. Let the ball bounce, strike it against the wall. Now, only do this if mom and dad say it's okay to do it on a table. All right, if you don't have a card table, please don't do it on the dining room table. That wouldn't be very appropriate. And then again, I come over, 
to my backhand side. Nice and easy. Now, if you don't have any kind of paddle from here, you can always use your hand. Let the ball bounce, strike it with the palm of your hand. A little bit more challenging, strike it with the back of your hand. Oops. Again, you can always try a bigger ball and a racket if you have a tennis racket. Bounce it and strike. Bounce it and strike. Or your backhand once again. Let it bounce and strike. Bounce and strike. If you need to use two hands with your racket, feel free to do that. Boys and girls, I hope you have fun with your ping pong unit. Try some of those different, var different variety activities out. And then again, take a picture of yourself doing it. If you don't have a ping pong paddle or any kind of racket, then I would like you to do the mountain climber challenge. Watch Mr. Katasik from here. I'm on the floor, one leg back, one leg forward, alternating legs as fast as you can. for one minute. See how many mountain climbers you can do? Remember, you're climbing Red Pine Mountain, which happens to be the tallest mountain in the world. Boys and girls, thank you for visiting the Physical Education. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you later.